guys welcome back okay so it's that time of the month again time of the every two weeks again <laughs> where I shop my stash so what I'm gonna do as usual is just kind of briefly go through what I pulled from my last shop my stash what I have in my makeup drawer right now that I've been using over the past few weeks and just kind of give you my thoughts before I decide if I'm going to keep it for this week or this upcoming you know couple of weeks or if I'm going to go ahead and put it back so let's go ahead and talk about what I pulled in my last shot my stash okay for foundation I have I'm just pulling everything out of my drawer you guys like I normally do I know you guys can't really see my tray today but it's all good so I did pull my Iman concealing foundation I like this stuff a lot <laughs> I really do I actually I think yeah no I was what I was using before this was the black opal but and I kept the black opal because I like that as well but I was liking this Iman foundation a little better so I kept this I like it a lot but I do have another foundation that I want to use for the next couple of weeks so I'm going to put this back I like the coverage of this the color the finish the stain power I really like this foundation y'all so I'm gonna put it back but I do like it you guys y'all know I have had this L'Oreal Lumi Glotion in my drawer to use for months now and I just never pick it up so I'm gonna go ahead and put this away because obviously I'm either too scared to try it or I don't want to try it this is basically you know like a highlighting lotion that you put on your skin if you want a little glow and what I was gonna do I was going to use some of this like underneath my foundation you know to kind of give me that little lit from within type of look but I'm just not pulling this you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back <laughs> maybe I'll try it again in the future <laughs> Okay, now with the Iman foundation, I also had pulled my new Iman concealer. But as you guys know, if you watched my video where I was trying out these products, this concealer is it's basically my same skin tone, which is perfectly fine because I can use it, you know, to conceal with. Really nice color, but I noticed that it dries super duper fast like you have no time to really work and maneuver and blend out this concealer so that kind of scares me a bit I actually after I swatched it on my hand and saw how quickly it dries I did not use this I still haven't used it I do want to try it because you know I paid for it and it's a great concealing uh, color just to match my skin tone, but I'm scared of how quickly it dries. So I'm gonna keep it in here just in case, just in case. Now, I was using this Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer. This is in the shade Dark Caramel. And I think this is a really nice brightening shade for me. I do like it a lot. I think for a drugstore concealer, it is a really nice consistency, nice and creamy. It blends out very, very nicely. Um, it doesn't, if you use like a sponge or something to blend it out, it's going to kind of thin it out. So even though the coverage looks really nice here, once you start blending it out with a sponge or whatever, it does kind of thin out a bit. So you do get nice coverage, but it's not as opaque as my favorite concealer you know my Juvia's Place so I would say for a drugstore concealer if you don't need a lot of coverage like I do this is great I really like it the Essence Camouflage and it is matte so it does dry down matte now like I said you guys know I always keep my Juvia's concealer in here gotta have this close by this is a shade 11 I love this stuff because it is just the coverage is amazing. <laughs> Whether I use a sponge, a brush, my finger, it doesn't matter. The coverage is amazing. It blends out nicely. It's nice and hydrating for me and I like it. So I'm just gonna leave those two concealers in my tray and then I'll pick out another foundation or two to use this week. Okay, so let's take a look at some primers and moisturizers that I've been using. Um, I did grab this Elemis 
rose oil or rose face oil and I like it. I like it a lot. I'm actually going to keep this in my shop, my stash for a while because I like it. I don't use a lot of it. It's very lightweight. It doesn't leave my face feeling greasy or oily. It just gives me a really nice moisturized base before I go in with my other moisturizers and stuff. I just, I really like it and it smells really good. Now, last uh, shot my stash, I pulled this Juno & Co Miracle Cream. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the Miracle Cream, Moonshine Miracle Cream. And it's a little bit thick. It's a little too thick for me right now. So I'm definitely gonna put this back because yeah, I, <laughs> I used it once. I was like, nah, that's too thick right now. It's hot, it's summertime, no. So I went and grabbed my Mamond Rose Gel Water Cream again. This stuff is so nice, you guys. I talked about it in my last shot mustache because I had it for those weeks. And I put it back in here. If it ain't broke, I ain't trying to fix it this week. So I'm keeping that, but I will be putting the Juno & Co back for my primer um i pulled this good molecules moisturizing primer i like this stuff you guys it is so nice it's a really nice creamy thick consistency but I, what i like about this primer is it's a moisturizing primer so it's a two in one i love two in oh my hand feels so soft i love two in one primers because it's like you know double duty so i think i'm going to keep that primer for now i also pulled i think i pulled this after my shop my stash not during my shop my stash but if you guys watch my channel at all you know that i love this tart double duty beauty this is their base tape primer and it's a moisturizing primer so it's another kind of like double function primer slash moisturizer i love these type of primers and especially right now my skin is just loving the hydration loving all the moisture so i'm going to keep that as well I also have this Perlise Matcha and Green Tea Primer. I've been using this for quite a while now, a couple of months, and so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back because I've used it enough. <laughs> Now I do have a couple of items sitting here on my vanity that I will be adding for this upcoming, you know, couple of weeks. I did receive this Good Molecules Discoloration Serum. This is a discoloration correcting serum. Got this by surprise. Didn't know it was going to pop up in my uh, mailbox, but it did. I guess they, uh, <laughs> maybe they've heard me complain about my discoloration a lot. But I am going to start using this, try it out, and see how I like it. So far, I've used it twice, and I love the consistency of it, how it feels. But this is one of those things, you know, where you have to use it for a while to see if it's actually going to help with my discoloration. So, yeah, I will be using that over the next couple of weeks. Now, I just got this Ciate London Everyday Vacay Setting Spray in my boxy charm so i think i'm going to be using this i've already used it a couple of times it smells really good the jury's still out as far as um longevity for setting my or holding my makeup setting my makeup i'm still testing it out it's still fairly new to me but it smells really good if you like the smell of coconut it smells good okay so now let's quickly go through some of the face powders that I've been using for my last shot my stash I did pick both of my new Iman face powders this one here is the lighter one which is clay medium very pretty packaging but I've been using this to set under my eyes to set my concealer and my highlighted areas I like this powder a lot it sets all day it doesn't crease on me i feel like it's a nice shade for me and it just it works very nicely i use it with a brush i know some powders i like to use with my sponge but this one i actually use with a brush and it just works out very well i don't have any issues with this powder i like it a lot i'm gonna switch it out though this is my other Iman powder. This one is in the shade Earth Dark, and I got this one to set my face with. I love this powder, you guys. I'm tempted to keep it for another couple of weeks, 
because I like it a lot. As a matter of fact, I think I am. I might pull another one just in case I get tired of this, but I'm going to keep this in my drawer for now because I like it that much. Now, I also tried out this little sample, if I could pick it up. It's a sample powder that I got from Sephora. This is a sample of the Laura Mercier translucent powder. It just came in a little sample pack like that. I used it twice and it's it's a decent powder. I used it for under my eyes. It's, it wasn't anything special to me. <laughs> it wasn't. Um, it's just, it's a decent powder to me, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe I need to use it more, but for me, it's just okay. Nothing extraordinary. So I'm going to put this sample back because I'm going to pull something else. Now, I did use quite a few bronzers. <laughs> so many bronzers that I don't even remember which bronzers I pulled for my shop mustache. But this bronzer here is from the Lip Bar. And this one is in the shade Double Date. Very nice bronzer, you guys. I actually have it on today. It's a very nice bronzer, but it is very pigmented, okay? So you have to really go light and be careful with it. You can't just go ham bronzing your face up because you will look like you got socked a few times. But it's a very nice, nicely pigment, pigmented bronzer that blends out beautifully. The blush is really nice as well. The blush has like that sheen a bit of shimmer to it so if you don't like that you might not like it but it's very very pretty you see that is very very pretty gorgeous gorgeous blush um so it's like i kind of have to be in the mood for that type of blush because although it is gorgeous i would use that for like a blush and a highlighter in one because it does have the sheen to it but I love these like dual compacts from the lip bar. They're so nice. Really like it a lot. That one, I'm not sure. I might keep it in my shop, my stash, just because I like it a lot. <laughs> now, I also played around with the Sephora bronzed bronzer. This one is in the shade Ibiza. Ibiza. Very nice bronzer as well. Perfect for my skin tone. Blends out very nicely good bronzer very good but i'm gonna put her back as well i also used my kosas bronzer now this bronzer is really nice what i will say about this bronzer is it smells funny <laughs> it smells like something cooking in the kitchen and not necessarily anything sweet or delicious it just you know it smells i don't know what it smells like it doesn't stink but it doesn't smell good so this bronzer as you can see beautiful beautiful tone of bronzer it looks amazing on the skin it just kind of melts into your skin blends out very nicely i like this bronzer as well i might keep this also <laughs> so i have the lip bar and the kosas bronzer that i might might hold on to okay so this here for blush i did have my minted blush and this one is buried away i believe yeah buried away i love this blush very nicely pigmented very pretty i don't know if you can see i have a slight flush of this blush on right now and i really like it it's very pretty so mm, am i gonna keep this no i'm gonna put it away i've had this for probably a couple of months now <laughs> So I'm going to put her away. Oh, I also have my mascara in this um, little cube. I've been using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Very nice mascara, but I'm actually kind of tired of it. I don't know if it's getting thicker because of me opening and closing it so much, but it's starting to feel a little bit clumpy to me when I use it. So I'm going to put this away and pull something else. But it is a really good mascara. Okay, you guys, so I've been playing with quite a few face palettes, blush palettes, contour palettes, because <laughs> I like to just mix it up and keep stuff close by, but I'm definitely going to switch all of this stuff out this week. Um, you guys know I always have my Black Radiance um, contour palette close by. It just works, the contour, the highlight. I never use this center shade for some reason, but... Um, I always keep this close by. I love it, but 
whatever. <laughs> I'll just keep it in my drawer. Okay, for blush, I was using this Blush by 3 palette. This one is Flame from Sleek. So it has, you know, a few shades of this kind of like orangey, corally tone blush. Also a shimmery type blush in here. Very, very pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for summer. But I'm going to go ahead and switch that out. You guys know I was using my Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow palette that my girl Lily got me. Oh my gosh, this palette is so pretty, you guys, and I love it. The way I like to use it best is with the sponge because it's just easy and I'm able to control it better for the blush and the highlight. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this away because I have been enjoying this for a while. I also have my other Natasha Denona Diamond in Blush palette. It took me forever to use this because I was afraid of it. But I think after I used the one that Lily got me, I had more courage to play around with this. And now that I know how to use it to best suit me, I really like it. So it's very, very pretty, you guys. These palettes... If you can go ahead and take the splurge and you like, you know, kind of using like a cream type blush and different buildable highlighters, I think it's definitely worth taking the plunge and purchasing one of these. I've also been using these palettes from BH Cosmetics. I love both of these. I have the Bellini Blush Palette. It has these gorgeous coral shades in here very very pretty it's hard for me to give this up because i love how coral blush looks on my skin tone so i might keep this one close by just in case and i also have the belgian waffle um it's like a highlighting palette and very pretty shades in there but yeah i don't need this right now i can put this away you guys know already that i've been playing around with my tammy face palettes as well I know you guys have seen this on my channel a bazillion times. I have both of them. So, you know, I have even more options because I have both of them. <laughs> and I love these options. So, it's always hard. I'm putting them back in my drawer, y'all. Don't be mad at me. I'm going to pull something else, though. This Revolution Pro Peach 4K Blush Palette. You guys, this palette is gorgeous, very nicely pigmented. And this highlighter, I was really, really surprised by this highlighter. I was like, mm, you know, look a little dusty, look a little ashy, a little pasty. But when I put it on, it just kind of gave me just a nice, subtle glow. You know, it just... It just looked really nice on my skin and so I like it. I think it's surprising. It's one of those surprising products where you're like, nah, that ain't gonna work for me. But then you put it on and it's like, wait, that's kind of pretty. So yeah, very, very pretty. And lastly, I did go ahead and play around with my Ofra On The Glow palette. You know, it has these different highlighters, bronzers and things like that in there, a little blush. It's a very nice palette. I um playing around with this highlighter, highlighter, I think the most, a little bit of this, some of this, but this is a really nice palette, you guys. Very, very pretty. Ofra has like some amazing highlighters, so I actually am going to keep this close by because I want to play with it some more. Okay, you guys, so these are all the items that I'm going to be putting back. So let's go ahead and replace these items. Okay, you guys, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and switch out this Superhero Mascara. So, let me find somewhere to stick it. Let's see. This is Mael Above and Beyond Mascara. I want something with a wand that's a little bit smaller. No, that's not going to work. Hmm. Maybelline Lash Discovery. I think this one, the wand is, oh yeah. This wand is super duper small. Mm, so that's a maybe. This is Essence Super Curl. Uh, that one looks like it might be a good one. Yeah, I'm going to try this one. So I'm going to try the Essence Super Curl and the 
Maybelline Lash Discovery and see how I like these two. Next, let's pick a concealer. So I'm gonna put this Essence Camouflage Concealer back. What about Ulta? This is Ulta Beauty's Full Coverage Concealer. Maybe I'll try that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and try this one. This is in the shade Deep Warm. Okay, I have a lot of blush and highlight face palettes to put away. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick out a new blush first. I'm thinking maybe I should play around with my Fenty Cream Blush. I only used this for a little while when I first got it. I have the shade Daiquiri Dip and it's really pretty and for summertime these you know are really nice to use so I think I'm gonna pull my Fenty Beauty Cream Blush again. I haven't used my Milani in a while. This one is the Spiced Rose. Oh my gosh, when I first got it, I fell in love with this. It's kind of like a illuminating blush, but it's very, very pretty. So I think I'm going to pull this one as well. Oh, you guys, I haven't used this yet. This is one of my Focalore um, blush duos, one of the dupe ones where they copy cover effects with the blush and the highlighter. This one is in the shade 04. So yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. It's very light and I wanna see how this is going to fare on my skin tone along with that highlighter. Okay, you guys, so I do have quite a few new highlighters that I wanna try for this upcoming week. This one I got from Nomad Cosmetics. This is from their Studio 54 line and it looks very intimidating. <laughs> But it's so pretty when I swatched it. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to put that on my face. So I'm going to play with this this week. I also picked up this uh, Catrice Sungasm Face and Body Highlighter. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how big this is. This thing is really big. And this is what it looks like. So, so pretty, very gorgeous. Oh, that's pretty. It's nice and light. So it doesn't look overpowering or anything like that. It looks like it's subtle, but you can build it up. Oh, that's pretty. Yep, she pretty. And I also want to play with this iHeart Revolution highlighter. This is one of their Tasty Fruit highlighters. Tasty Apple. Now this one, you guys, look at that. Just looking at it, it is so gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. She's so pretty. Uh, it's like, it's just wet. It just looks wet on my skin. Uh, can you see that? Look at that. It's so warm compared to the other, the, what is it, Sungasm highlighter. The apple one up here is just so beautiful and warm. It's gorgeous. So, yeah, I want to play with this for sure. Okay, so let's replace these powders. I have an extra bronzer here. I don't think I need to replace my bronzer, actually, because I have quite a few <laughs> that I'm going to be using. This sample, Laura Mercier, and my Iman Light Powder. I'm going to replace that. Okay, for a brightening powder, I'm going to use my Becca Hydra Mist. Absolute favorite, absolute favorite setting powder for my highlighted areas. This Hydra Mist powder does have like a shorter shelf life, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this again so I can run through it, because I do have a couple more that I need to use. Now for my face setting powder, you guys know I did keep my Iman all over setting powder but I did pick up a new J-Cat Aquasurance shade. I had already had the shade Caramel. So this is the shade that I purchased initially. Love this powder. Oh my gosh it is so nice. It works beautifully. I love it. But I wanted to try a darker shade so I did go ahead and pick up the shade Espresso. And so this is what espresso looks like. It is a little bit darker than caramel. Let me see if I can show you 
side by side and see a difference yeah definitely definitely a difference in the shade so this is espresso and this is caramel caramel works just fine for me but i did want to see if i would prefer the espresso which is a little bit more rich so i'm gonna pull this one just to kind of play with it test it out see if i like it or see if it is actually too dark for me and you guys i spoke too soon i misspoke when i said i didn't need another bronzer to play with i picked up this morphe face palette and honey y'all know i have got to play with this <laughs> i have to it's not an option it's not an option because I haven't gotten to um, try it out yet. So this is one of their newer face palettes that has, you know, the bronzer, contour, blush, and highlight. And this is the darkest one, I believe, the 8C. Is it the darkest one? 8D? Anyways, I'm going to be playing in this. Got to. Yeah, it's the 8D. I'm not sure if it's the darkest, but I think it is. So got to pull that. I didn't feel like moving my camera again. So I did go ahead and just pull a couple of foundations from my little foundation rack. So I'm going to be using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I'm going to be checking this out for the next couple of weeks. And I also pulled my NYX Total Control Drops. I really like these whenever I pull them to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this for this week as well. Okay, you guys. So I'm just going to put my new stuff away in my drawers. I'm actually kind of excited this week for the stuff that I get to play with. It's like I got some exciting little stuff to use. So I'm going to put this stuff away. And then I want to show you guys. I know you guys like to see like palettes and stuff like that that I might be using in the upcoming weeks. So since it is my birthday week, or should I say birthday month, okay, um, I will show you some palettes that I grabbed and also a few gifts that I received from my girlfriends, okay, so I'll show you those as well. Okay, so just a couple of palettes that I picked up recently. This one is the Sigma Corderosa. This was a palette that I didn't think that I was going to be purchasing, but when it went on sale and I saw how absolutely gorgeous this palette was, oh my gosh, wait till you guys see the inside of this if you haven't already. It's not really like new new, but it's new to me and it is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, just the packaging is really pretty, but look at what the inside looks like, okay? Look at this palette, you guys. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my gosh, she is so pretty. And it comes with a double-sided brush, which is really, really cool. But yeah, I just, I thought this palette was so pretty, so gorgeous. So this is definitely a palette that I'm going to be using for sure soon. It's not a maybe, possibly, could be. This is a definite for me. It's so gorgeous. I also picked up the Sigma Enchanted palette and this one is in this purple kind of, oh it's holographic. Gorgeous. And this is what the back looks like. You can see the colors in there. But yeah, they had a really good sale on these palettes. So I went ahead and took advantage of the sale. So these are the colors in this palette. Look at those shimmers, you guys. Ah, so gorgeous. So, so pretty. The only reason why I'm not swatching it is because I do wanna do videos on both of these palettes. So I wanna save the surprise for when I swatch it then. Now let me show you guys some of these bomb birthday gifts I got, okay, that my girl sent me. Oh my gosh. Lily from Lily Living Life. If you don't know who she is, she is my girl, one of my besties. And she does have a YouTube channel as well. So make sure and check her out. I will link her channel. But she sent me <laughs> all of these shadows from Cleona. You guys, I have so many different um, magnetic palettes with shadows in it that I have to like create my own label so I'll remember what's what. But she sent me all of these gorgeous shadows from Cleona. Oh my goodness. 
Do you see that? Beautiful, beautiful shades from Quiona. Oh, I swatched a few and I almost passed out. <laughs> they're so pretty. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. The camera just does not do it justice at all, period. And my girl DJ, just Peachy D, if you don't know, she does have a YouTube channel as well and a boutique. But this is from Ruby May. It's the Vibes palette. She sent me this. It's so pretty. You guys, I've been looking at this palette for the longest and just didn't bite the bullet. <laughs> she knows me oh so well. But look at the pretty colors in here. Gorgeous pink, turquoise, and gold. So, so pretty very very beautiful palette so i'm so thankful that my girls have sent me some beautiful birthday gifts dj also sent me this palette called i am from oba is it oba oh my gosh yeah so pretty i would never heard of them but look at that design on there look at that so pretty oh these colors, you guys, these colors. Look at this palette. Look at those colors. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. And DJ also sent me some goodies from Sydney Grace, okay? Came in this cute little bag. Very pretty, I love that pink color. But it's just like a, a little goodie bag, y'all, okay? Got some cute little stuff in here. So there's a glitter in here, berry picking. That's the name of this glitter. And there's also a highlighter in here. In this highlighter, okay, it's called Making Jam. Now the color on that highlighter is very promising, honey. Very promising. And then there's like a whole handful of single shadows in here. And I'm so excited about it because I've been dying to have some Sydney Gray shadows for the longest. Um, it doesn't, I won't be able to say the name because I'm not going to pop them all out right now, but I'll just show them to you. Oh, look how pretty that green looks. Look at this. It's like a beautiful kind of wine or berry type red. This shade here, absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, look at that purple. Oh, it's beautiful. Another beautiful green. I'm trying to show you the color <laughs> without all the glare from the lights. Don't worry, I am going to do a video swatching my Sydney Gray shadows when mine come in. So I will be able to, you know, pull them all out and show you guys what the names and stuff are for these shadows. Gorgeous. And then this last one here is a really, really pretty like pink fuchsia type shade gorgeous so yeah i have to say thank you to my girls for hooking me up for my birthday okay it's just been an amazing birthday month okay so i think i'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here because it is long enough i've been picking and choosing and talking forever but yeah that is it for this week's shop my stash i have all my goodies that i'm gonna use you guys will see them in the upcoming videos and I will give you my thoughts on these products after I use them, just like I always do. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Toodles!